Following the collapse of the Baltimore Bridge, some Louisiana drivers may now be feeling uncertain about overpasses. NBC 10's Haley Hines joins us live in the studio to discuss the importance of bridge safety. That's right, Carla. Some people may be questioning the durability, safety, or regular maintenance of area structures. With the recent tragedy in Baltimore, concerns have been circulating on how well bridges are made. There are also those who now may have a heightened fear of overpasses. We spoke with Aaron Buchanan from the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development, also known as DOTD, for more information on the immense importance of bridge safety. We have had issues where bridges were struck by you know, marine vessels and we had to close them or make uh, repairs. We've had bridges that were struck by vehicles if it's an underpass, you know, with a roadway going underneath. Um, we've had that type of situation where we had to have projects put in place to make those repairs. And so in a state with, you know, 16,000 plus bridges in it, you know, bridge safety is something that is of utmost concern at all times. Buchanan also spoke on the upkeep process of local bridges by DOTD's federally trained inspectors. And they look at all parts of the structure, the substructure, the superstructure, the deck, the, you know, the columns. For those who still may be hesitant when traveling on overpasses, Buchanan ensured residents that all issues would be properly handled. I think to alleviate people's fears as far as the condition of our structures, just know that you know they're looked at on a regular frequency. Our bridge inspectors, you know, are familiar with those structures in their various districts and areas. Um, and again, we take it very seriously. She continued by reassuring residents that if any structures are unsafe for travel, they will be immediately shut down for repairs. To view those active construction sites, you can visit the DOTD website. You mentioned that if anyone notices issues with local bridges, to email DOTD's customer service email or to call your local DOTD district number. Reporting live in the studio for your Oculus News Source, I'm Haley Hines.